it comes to all the movies that came out January 2023, first of all, you had Meg Megan or M. Freegan, sci-fi horror film directed by Gerald Johnstone from a story by Akela Cooper and James Wan. Then you had A Man Called Otto, came out January 13th, comedy drama directed by Mark Forster, based on the novel A Man Called Ove, that came out in 2012, written by Frederick Backman. Then you had Alice Darling, came out January 20th, thriller directed by Mary Nye in her directorial debut. Then Missing came out January 20th, drama thriller directed by Nicholas D. Johnson and Will Merrick. And then The Sun came out January 20th, drama directed by Florian Zeller, Zeller based on his 2018 stage play of the same name, serves as a prequel to the movie The Father that came out back in 2020. Then When You Finish Saving the World, coming-of-age comedy drama written and directed by Jesse Eisenberg in his directorial debut based on an audio drama of the same name that came out in 2020. And then we had In From The Side came out January 20th, British film directed by Matt Carter. And then One Fine Morning came out January 27th, a romantic drama written and directed by Maya Hansen Love. And then that would be it for all the January new theatrical releases. As is to be expected, this was a pretty slow month. I ended up seeing one new theatrical release, that being A Man Called Otto, which I actually really enjoyed. I saw it with my dad, who actually has read the book before. Also, it's interesting that before we got the American version of A Man Called Otto in 2023, there's a Swedish version of this story that came out as well. I haven't seen that version. I've heard about it. <sighs> to be sure. <laughs> I also have heard about M. Freegan or Megan. That one actually did really well. It got really good reviews. A lot of people are saying that movie was much better than I was expecting, which is nice to hear. And actually, that's an example of the kind of horror film that I could be interested in because it's not rated R, PG-13, horror sci-fi thriller, so it looks, it looks interesting.